Are you able now to l let that go a little bit more? I feel like I, I feel like, I don't know, I don't know. Like it's always like, let's see what happens. Sure. But like, I have totally let go of the album now, and through that, I had mm. to. And um, it actually got to a point that I was just like, I couldn't wait to. <laughs> okay. And um, quite liberating in a way. So liberating. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I've really changed as okay. a person through the last two years, totally. Mm. And I understand myself in a much deeper way, just being like, okay, that's going on, and you know, okay, that's going on. And yeah, I do. I do feel like I've, I've dealt a lot with that, but I feel like that's like, I've got a lot more of a journey to go on with that stuff as well. Was it a difficult thing to do? Because as you, as you say, to kind of dig in into your own emotions, your own feelings, kind of your sense of, of, of self. And mm. Is that a difficult thing to do? And then especially when you know what comes out of it is, is kind of open to the world? The bit that comes out of it is, is like, I don't, I don't feel vulnerable okay. sharing that stuff. I never really have done, though. I've, I've always felt like... I, always, I really believe like transparency is key mm. and honesty is like absolutely key and I feel like that's why music is su such an incredible um, art is because it can help people feel more understood mm -hmm. and feel like less alone sure. and that's the music that I've always loved is like really honest artists that are talking about like really key stuff for them but it's all relatable you mm. know i remember being younger and being like oh god i'm not alone in that like that's wicked and do you remember a song or, or maybe an artist that had I, yeah that erica badu i okay. had that with quite a few of hers but she's got one song clever and it's it's like because i'm clever and it's talking about like it's talking about how you look basically as a woman and sure. being like you know this is how i look without makeup and uh with no bra like my boobs sag down low right. and whatever, but none of that matters because I'm clever. And I really remember that resonating with me and listening to the lyrics and being like, oh my God, wow, like, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, felt, I just felt, found her hugely inspiring and, and felt like someone that I admired so much saying that to me. It, well, it felt like saying it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing with artists. Um, I remember finding that like, yeah, really freeing. And similarly, now that you've released music that has uh, these themes, do you get? Is there maybe a reaction you remember from somebody who told you something about your music? Yeah, I get I get the sweetest emails, and and actually, like that's what I do it for. Mm. I I do music now for because it's absolutely necessary to me, but that mm -hmm. doesn't matter because I'd be doing that anyway. But I do it for the people that come to gigs, like some people have travelled tonight to come. Like that is mad and amazing. And um, I do it for the people that message me, okay. which just like that, 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 that kind of makes it all worthwhile. All the hard stuff, it just mm -hmm. makes that worthwhile because, you know, if I've touched like one person or two people along the way, then I feel like job done. Mm -hmm. And when you perform live, uh, well, you mentioned the, the song Control. Those emotions that come with a song like that, do you revisit them when you perform them live? Or I can try you to. I try to, yeah, okay. yeah. I try to revisit them. And, and I feel like that's why it's really necessary for me to write music that's so deep, so mm. I can revisit them. Because I just, I don't think that I could stand on a stage and sing the same songs over and over again if I couldn't like tap back into that emotion. Sure. You know, there's certain songs that I find it easier to tap back into, like Nicole, mm. it's about my best friend, so I just need to picture her and I, like, all of that stuff comes back. And like, you know, right thing. And I mean, there's some that maybe are, are a bit, I'm a bit nervous to tap back into because I might cry or, <laughs> but um, yeah, I try to tap back in because okay. I feel like I need to give my audience like the most honest depiction of where I'm at as well with that stuff. Well, one song that kind of stuck out for me on the record was uh, Woman. Mm -hmm. What kind of mind space were you in when you wrote that song? I think... I guess I've been in that mind state for a while. Okay. Um, I'm like, I'm a huge feminist and mm. I'm like a real advocate for equality and, and I just stand, I, it's at the very heart of like everything that I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like very aware of, of where I stand in this industry, where like my female peers stand in this industry and then elsewhere and just the emphasis that so many women around me incredible, amazing, mm -hmm. influential, talented women um, 
and there's still so much emphasis on how they look sure. and this idea of perfection and I feel it too like this idea of perfection that you're always striving for but but it's like this taught idea of unrealistic beauty mm -hmm. it's just it's just a myth so um um, I, I, it came from just thinking about how hard it must be now for young women and men to grow up with like social media and like mm. constant images and um, and hearing murmurs of like you know people saying oh it's all fine now I'm not a feminist like it's all fine now I don't notice anything it was kind mm. of me saying like those voices are really dangerous because it's absolutely not not true <laughs> and um, I guess it was just m my response to that and saying like it is still a problem and it's hard out here. Mm -hmm. It's just me recognizing it. And is it difficult then now, um, now that you have be uh, become in, in, in a sense a public person and, and people have an opinion about you, that, about the way you look uh, and, and mm -hmm. that ki uh, those kind of things, but is that difficult to deal with or can you...? I just ignore it. Okay. Yeah, like I, I everything I do, I'm. I just feel like the music has to come first mm -hmm. and people can make a judgment on me by how I look, that's fine, but like their loss, I just feel like listen to my music and you'll know me. Mm -hmm. like, I put everything, every part of me into my music and, and how I look is just how I look, sure. do you know what I mean? Like that doesn't really mean much, I'd never judge a book by its cover I guess. And, and similar, in the similar sense if you turn on MTV there's the, the way uh, women are portrayed, especially in, in music videos and those kind of things, can be quite uh, upsetting then, uh, I suppose. Yeah, like totally, totally. I think it's an issue. I think, I think that our industry has a lot to answer for, as does lots of industries. Sure. But I think it's just such a, a much broader thing, and this has been going on for years and years mm. and years. And the only way to kind of overcome this stuff is education, and f men and women coming sure. together and just being like, this isn't okay you know and it's not going to happen just from women doing it we need like men too just being like mm -hmm. we're still not equal so we need to get there for like our daughters and sons fair enough yeah. <laughs> uh, final question um where do you the, your album uh debut album has just been released how do you see the future how, how do you well, well I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask the question but it's quite a difficult one to answer how, how do you define success in, in a way. I think that that's a much easier question <laughs> to define, uh, to answer. I um, I get asked that a lot. Like, okay. where, what do you see? What do you see? Not that I get asked. Like, what do you see as the future? Okay. I try not to think about the future too much, like, because mm -hmm. I just don't think that it's well back to control. Health. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think it. Like, if, who knows? Like, tomorrow everything mm -hmm. might change. And, you know, sure. Who knows what's going to happen? Exactly. Back to control. So. My idea of success is to continue making music, mm. like full stop, and be sustainable. Like, I don't need loads of money, don't need a car, um, like, headline Glastonbury isn't even, like, my goal. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd just say, like, it's all about just being able to be sustainable and continue making music, whether, however big or small that may be. Thank you very much Thank for your you. Time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. Good questions. Thank you. Great questions.